today we're going to be talking about operations of functions. And quite honestly, we've already done this type of thing before. But when you see the notation of f plus g of x, that means f of x plus g of x. f minus g, you subtract the functions. f times g, you multiply the functions. And f over g, you divide the functions. And make sure you give me the restrictions on the denominator because we know our denominator can never equal zero. Okay, adding and subtracting functions. So we have f minus g, which really means f of x minus g of x. So we have our f of x function, 4x squared plus 3x minus 1. minus g of x, and I'm going to put g of x in parentheses so that I remember to distribute my negative. So from here, it's about distributing the negative. OK, so we have 4x squared minus 3x minus 3. And that is your function, f minus g of x. Now, when we're multiplying, multiplying, it's basically just f of x times g of x. f of x is our function 6x squared minus x minus 12. So I have 6x squared minus x minus 12 times by the function g of x, which is 2x minus 3. Now, you can choose to do this any way you want. I'm going to do the box method, as you guys know. I like the box method. I think it really organizes our work really well. So across the top, I'm going to put our trinomial. Across the side, I'm going to put the other one. And go through this really fast. Okay, so now it's just a matter of combining the like terms. We have a 12x squared. That should actually be a 12x cubed. So 12x cubed minus a 20x squared minus 21x plus 36. So that's what you get when you multiply. Now dividing. So we have our f of x function, 6x squared minus x minus 12 divided by 2x minus 3. Now let's hope this top factors. First of all, we need to state any domain restrictions. And that domain restriction happens before before you simplify. Okay, so keep that in mind. So 2x minus 3, I'm going to try and factor the top. Now, I'm going to take a guess that one of my factors is going to be what's on the bottom, because that's going to make sense. That's the point of doing the problem, essentially. So what times 2x is going to get me 6x squared? Well, that's going to be a 3x. And then what number times 3 is going to get me a negative 12? That's a plus 4. Make sure your middle term works out, and it does. But I need to make sure I state my domain restrictions. x cannot be equal to 3 halves, whatever made the bottom 0. So I set the bottom equal to 0, and that x cannot be equal to 3 halves. 2x minus 3 cancels, so when we divide, we get 3x plus 4, 
and then again our domain restriction from before we simplified. Next, composition of functions. So what a composition is, is I think about it as one function g of x inside of another function f of x. Okay, so what happens is you take all of your possible x's in g of x and you go through all your function g of x and you have your outputs of your range of g of x. Now all of these y's then get put into f of x and you go through the function f of x to get your composition f of g of x. <clears throat> In this example, we're going to be finding f of g of x and g of f of x when we're given a bunch of points. So if I'm looking for f of g of x, which is the first one I'm going to find, you start with the x values from your g of x function. So you're basically going to find f of g of 7, f of g of negative 1, f of g of 4, and f of g of 8. So notice how again those were all of the x values from the g of x function. So now I evaluate f of x for those x functions. So g of 7 is the same thing as 0. g of negative 1 is 7. g of 4 is 9. And g of 8 is 2. Now what we actually do is we actually go to our f of x function, f of 0. f of 0, where x equals 0 in your f of x function is negative 1. f of 7 is 7. f of 9 is 4. And f of 2 is equal to 6. So in this case, we had all possible x's from our g of x function going over to a y value in our f of x function. That's not always going to happen. So your answer in this case is going to be the coordinates. The x coordinate you started with and the y coordinate you end with. x coordinate I started with y coordinate I end with, x coordinate I started with, y coordinate I ended with, x coordinate I start with, y coordinate that I ended with. Now when we're finding g of f of x, it's the same thing. Now, what I often find guys do is I'm going to ask you one of these two things. Okay, I'm not going to ask you for both. So what you need to keep in mind is you need to realize which one I'm asking you for. Okay, and not give me both of them on the test. Some guys like to give me both of them on the test. So I'm finding G of F of 2. And now I'm starting with the X's in my F of X function. G of f of 9, g of f of 7, and g of f of 0. Now evaluate g of x for each one of these. So f of 2, f of 2 is 6. f of 9, 
9, the y value is 4. So I'm going to find g of 4 then. Now I'm finding g of f of 7. So when x equals 7, y equals 7. So I'm going to find g of 7. g of f of 0. f of 0 is a negative 1. So now I'm going to actually go and find these g of x values. Okay, g of 6. When g equals 6, I don't have a point there, so that doesn't exist. When g equals 4, when x equals 4, we have a 9. g of 7. When x equals 7, y equals 0. When x equals negative 1 in our g of x function, y equals 7. So sometimes you're going to get values that don't exist, and that's going to happen more often than you think. So your answer, this one doesn't have an answer. This one is what I started with and what I end with. What I started with, what I ended with. What I start with, and then what I ended with. Okay, so remember your answer here is going to be point values. Okay, now we're doing f of g of x where we actually have functions. And again, I'm going to do the similar thing. f of x, I'm going to look at it as the purple function. And let's do a contrasting red function. Okay, so for the first one, we want to do f of g of x. So we're doing f, but what is your function g of x? Your function g of x is 2x minus 1. So it's kind of like the composition we were doing in chapter 5. So we have f of 2x minus 1. f of x is 3x squared minus x plus 4. But instead of that x, actually what I should put there is I should put a parenthesis because x is changing. x is becoming our 2x minus 1. So now it's just a matter of simplifying. Multiplying that out, I get 4x squared minus 4x plus 1, you have to FOIL this out. You have to write it as 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. Keep that in mind. I'm going to distribute that negative through my 2x minus 1 there. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to distribute the 3 through. I'm going to combine the 1 and the 4. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to combine like terms. So I have 12x squared minus 14x plus 6. Oh, I forgot to distribute my 3 through. So I forgot to distribute that 3, so that 6 should actually be an 8. I apologize. Now it says state the domain and range of each combined function. So that's a parabola. So my domain is all real numbers. Now my range. To find our range, you have to look at what type of function that is. That is a parabola. So remember our parabola opens up. You have a vertex that's going to be your minimum point, and it's going to be all the numbers greater than that. So you have to do your negative b over 2a, and when you simplify that, you get seven over 12, and then I evaluate my function at that value, and I get 47 over 12. Woo, and I used my calculator for those, don't worry guys. So our range, 
is going to be y is greater than or equal to 47 over 12. Now we need to find our composition the other way. I need to find now g of f of x, which means in g of x, I'm going to be plugging in my f of x function. My f of x function is 3x squared minus x plus 4. So that gets a lot more complicated. My g of x function is 2x minus 1. But what is x? x is 3x squared minus x plus 4. So from here I simplify, I get 6x squared minus 2x plus 8 minus 1. Now simplify 6x squared minus 2x plus 7. So again, this is another parabola. So my domain is all real numbers. Again, for my range, I found my vertex, negative b over 2a. I found that vertex and the, y val the x value of that vertex was 1 sixth, and then I evaluated f of 1 sixth. I plugged in 1 sixth everywhere I saw an x in my composition function, this one here, and my range ended up being y is greater than or equal to 41 over 6. And again, I used my calculator for that piece, just so you guys realize that. Okay, there are your functions, um, there are your lesson questions, please make sure those are submitted on time.